What I first want to say is, should you prep? Yes. Should you make sure that you have the things you need in the event of an emergency? Yes. Always yes, 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 yes. Can we foresee every situation that's going to happen? No, but it is helpful to be prepared. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm excited to come to you with my next Talkie Tuesday video. I recently shared a video called Longshoreman Strike, 10 Things You Should Get Now. I'll post it up here. And in that video, I talked about upcoming things that are happening um, at the time the Longshoreman Strike was just about to begin. I was talking about also political unrest and wars and different things that might lead us toward wanting to prep. And in that video, I got a response and I wanted to share with you one of the comments that a viewer shared. The comment says, LMFAO, prepared? How about those that had everything and watched it wash away in the flood? Is that prepared enough? Maybe give better advice. And then someone responded to that comment and said, yep, I've experienced it. So before I get into the details of the video, of course, I'm going to ask you to please make sure to comment, subscribe, and like this video. It helps me out. It helps my YouTube channel, and I'd appreciate your support. What I first want to say is, should you prep? Yes. Should you make sure that you have the things you need in the event of an emergency? Yes. Always yes, 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 yes. Can we foresee every situation that's going to happen? No, but it is helpful to be prepared. Prepping for upheaval, supply shortages, um, even weather events is important. There are some weather events that we can be better prepared for than others. I will say that when you're prepping for um, inclement weather, when you know that hurricane season is approaching, if you live someplace that has bad winter storms where you can lose power and be shut off, and cut off from the rest of the world around you for days on end, prepping is an excellent plan to make because you can have what you need while you're waiting for things to get up and running again. But if you're in a situation where there is a hurricane or a winter storm or some other major event and your home isn't destroyed, but you're still there after the catastrophic event, then you do want to have those things in place so that you can survive until help can come or until the grid goes back up or infrastructure is back in place. I have friends in North Carolina who were without power for a week after the hurricane. They had stored up supplies and they had prepared. They had things like generators to get them through that time without power. So I want to make it clear that it is not at all an unreasonable thing to prep, to prepare yourself in case of emergency. But it is good to understand that in a situation like we just had with extreme flooding that can destroy homes and communities, those situations are going to be on the extreme side and your preps that you have may not help in a situation like so that. So I want to talk a little bit about what you can do to prepare for flooding. If you know a hurricane is coming, if you know that there may be flooding in your area, what are some things that you can do? One of the first things that I want to recommend is to consider evacuating if it's at all possible. That is not possible for everyone. Some people have to remain in the area, but if you can, learn the evacuation routes, decide where you're going to go, prepare supplies to take with you. You wanna have important documents. You may wanna take a first aid kit, some food, water. It would also be good to learn where the local shelters are so that if you need to evacuate your home and go to a shelter, you can get there in enough time. That leads me to the next point. Make sure to plan ahead so that if you are staying at home, you have a point at which you decide I have to leave and that's before things become very dangerous, right? Make a plan to get to a safety location. Know where those shelters are. Be keeping track of the local news and weather forecasts so that you're aware of what's happening and how quickly things may change. If you do plan on staying in your home, make sure that you have the supplies that you need. I mentioned them in a previous video, but I'll go over a few right now. Um, make sure that you have a radio, preferably a NOAA-enabled radio, but make sure you have a radio that gives you AM and FM, non-perishable foods for three to five days. Make sure that you have enough water for three to five days, a gallon of water per person per day. Make sure that you have a medical kit, any medical supplies that you need, have 
extra medical supplies and just because you never know how long you may be there and you don't that's one thing you absolutely don't want to run out of so if you're on prescription medication make sure you have extra medication accessible and you want to take those supplies and put them in an elevated location i would like to put them in a box like in a tub and put them on a shelf or if you live in a multi-level home put it on the next level and store it high up on that level as well having said all that another hurricane is on the way. Hurricane Milton is coming. It doesn't look like it's going to go inland quite as much as Hurricane Helene did because Helene was so enormous that the outer bands of the hurricane reached very far north and west. But this new hurricane is looking like it's going to follow potentially the same path coming inland. Maybe it'll go a bit further south. They're not sure just yet, but it's Expected to be a pretty intense hurricane. And what can people do to prepare for that? The things I just mentioned. Make sure that you either have a plan to evacuate. And if you don't have a plan to evacuate and you plan on staying, make sure that you have the supplies you need in a safe location stored high above ground so that they can't get flooded. Of course, you want to prepare your home. You want to board up the windows. If you have sandbags and can use those, go ahead and do that. But one of the things that I'm majorly focused on is having what you need for afterward. It's after the storm that people find themselves desperately in need because they don't have supplies. And that's when you want to make sure you have your things prepared so that you're not in a situation where you're lacking. It is going to be a difficult time for sure, but you will have the things that you need to get through that season. I hope that you found this video helpful and that you're able to use it to help you prepare for any upcoming emergencies that you may be facing. I have other videos where I talk about how to prepare for emergencies, where I talk about how to can food, how to plant a garden so that you have food in event of an emergency. I would love for you to check out those videos and take a look at some of the things that I'm sharing on my channel. I really want to help people to prepare for the upcoming season that we're heading into, and I think that this is a great resource. Please share my videos with your friends and family. Go ahead and thumbs up the video if you haven't already. Make sure to comment and to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.